So, uh, Dave, thank you for taking the time. So, number one, I think uh, right, up, right out of the gate is now you guys have no room for mistakes. So, what happens to the mood or the mentality going into game four? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think the, the mentality changes. Uh, it, it's certainly a, a game that we have to win, um, win or go home. Um, you know, we're going to do everything we can to uh, find a win a baseball game. So uh, all hands on deck and um, the core of this group has been in this position before and uh, we're going to approach it, you know, like it's the way it is. It's win or go home. We got to play uh, better baseball. Uh, when we do have opportunities to cash in, we've got to take advantage of them. Um, but as far as on the run prevention side, I think we've, I thought we've pitched, pitched pretty well. Um, a lot of guys left on base, obviously, but their bullpen has not allowed a run to your offense, which uh, from a viewing standpoint is mind boggling. How is that happening? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I think you got to give those guys uh, some credit. Um, but, you know, on the other side of things, we still got to find a way to create uh, base runners, uh, create opportunities. And then when we do get them, regardless, uh, if it's a starter or the guy in the pen, we got to find a way to push them across. Uh, we got our hands full tomorrow. Uh, Musgrove's coming off a great start. Uh, we've seen him a lot. And, um, you know, we're going to have to compete, have good at bats, and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, get to the pen somehow. Okay, we're going to go to Jim over here on the left. Yeah, Doc, just curious about your, your thought process when you hit for Barnes, knowing you're going to give up the DH for the last two innings. Um, yeah, it, it's just more of uh, Garcia is a uh, been very dominant versus right hand hitters, and uh, there's no guarantee that Austin's going to get that next at bat anyway. So uh, to shoot a bullet with uh, Gavin, it just seemed to make sense. Okay, Jack, Dave, the, especially with runners in scoring position, it seems like there's been a lot of early swings, maybe some off the plate. How would you evaluate the approach in those spots, especially these last two games? Yeah, I, I think that you can see. Uh, you know, those guys with runs and scoring position are, are getting more into at-bats. Um, they're using the big part of the field. I think that we're being uh, hyper-aggressive early in counts and uh, not staying on the ball. And so, you know, they're getting us with spin. They're getting us on the uh, outside part of the plate. Um, we're not given really any opportunities to, to make mistakes. And that's more specific to the pen. How stark is it to go from 111 wins in the regular season, kind of coasting to the end, to now all of a sudden, you know, three days into this, be facing elimination? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's uh, it's where we're at, and uh, it was a, a very good regular season. But as we said before, none of that matters. Um, we're in a five-game series against a very good ball club that we're familiar with, and uh, the team that plays the best baseball is going to win the series. And up to this point, they've played better than we have. Is Trey's hand okay? Uh, the docs are looking at it right now. I'm expecting him to be in there, but uh, I think we're going to do an x-ray and kind of see how he comes in tomorrow. Is it a certain finger? or? It was his ring finger on the throwing hand. Thanks. Yep. Okay. Anything else, guys? Okay. Doc, thanks for your patience. Yep. Um, uh, yeah, I would just kind of want to get your uh, – uh, obviously you were not going to let uh, Gosselin stay in there very long. He, he seemed to be a little – uh, well, you tell me, what did he look like to you? He wasn't sharp. Um, got behind some guys, you know, Profar started off with a good at bat, got him out, then get, fell behind Soto, uh, you walk Machado. And um, I just think that he just wasn't sharp getting behind, stressed in the first inning, uh, second inning gives up a couple hits. And, uh, you know, I just felt at that point in time, we had length with uh, Heaney, and it was a time to, you know, go to him at that point. Um, how do you, as a manager, or what do you do with guys who did not face adversity in terms of standing or record this year? Like, how do you communicate with them? They know what's going on, but what do you say? Um, well, I, I think that uh, there's, there's not going to be a rounder uh, tonight or tomorrow. Uh, there, there's a lot of guys in that clubhouse that have played in uh, do-or-die games. So it's not a situation where I expect us to panic. Um, we got to play good baseball. And, and like I said, Musgrove's going to be ready. Tyler Anderson will be ready. And offensively, we just got to come together and push some runs across. Um, but as far as the, the mindset or the mentality, uh, we have a lot of guys that have been there. We got to play good baseball.